where the National Weather Service is warning of life-threatening flooding. The governor issuing a state of emergency and first responders have been deployed around the state where flooding may be the greatest threat. Parts of the state have been hit with well over a foot of rain so far this week alone. The flooding is so bad that a section of Interstate 95 had to be shut down completely for six hours. Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency in five counties that continue to be pummeled. News Nation's Xavier Walton starts us off where uh, in Broward County, very hard hit area there, Xavier. It seems like it's going to get worse too before it gets better. Anna, good morning. You know, that's exactly right. Good news is it stopped raining for what it feels like the first time in days. So we're going to take a walk here. Um, we're in Broward County, Fort Lauderdale right now. And if you look down, you can kind of hear it trudging through the water. That's because that's what some of these areas are waking up to. And think about it this way. This is probably an improvement from what they've been seeing the last 24 to 48 hours. And we're going to come this way. Come on, Kenny, keep walking. Kenny, Kenny's bearing with me this morning, trudging through the water. He's got his rain boots on, thankfully. Um, but then if you just look down there, you can kind of just get an idea water where it is. It was about halfway up the, the mail pool. Some of these homes actually taking in water and think about it this way. It's not raining now, but more rain is coming up to 10 inches more of rain later today. This area also parts of Miami Dade um, expected to get rain more rain today to Broward counties here in Southeast Florida under a flash flood emergency Wednesday. I mean, that's the most severe level threat there is. The storm dumped as much as a foot and a half uh, in some areas of rain. And these are concentrated pockets to think about all that rain in such a short period of time. Cities across the coast were responding to cars stranded in those floodwaters, even some that crashed because of the obvious rainy, treacherous conditions. Other drivers, you know what, trying to, to power through those downpours, a lot of emergency officials saying, hey, if you don't have to leave, do not do it. The rain also leading to, you know what, around 600 cancellations uh, between Miami International and also Fort Lauderdale Airport as well. Nearly 100 flights into and out of uh, today have already been canceled. And, and Anna, that's just like an idea of the ripple effect. Thankfully, it's not raining now, but the weather is causing here in South Florida. Yeah, and you also think about if the, the ground is already saturated in some areas and more rain comes down, you got to look out for toppling trees and, and power lines, too. So much of South Florida is under weather alerts still today. How is the rest of the state dealing with things? Well, you talked about I-95 being closed for six hours. I mean, it wasn't just South Florida. It was also West Florida as well. I'm going to point you over here as we talk about it, though. You know, this home here actually got very close to taking in some water and when you think about the, just how much water i mean three counties on the west coast of florida still under a state of emergency so it's not just here on broward in south florida um collier lee sarasota all getting soaked by this same system this storm moved through florida from the gulf of mexico meaning the west coast got hit early um, up to 10 inches in some areas and then this storm you know the same one lingering over the state not expected to completely pass until tomorrow um, but that's the situation here. I'm going to turn us around really, really quick and, and show just, you know, cars are waking up. People still have to go to work this morning. So cars driving through um, and this is what they're having to deal with. Thankfully, you know what? It stopped raining because people here in this part of the country are going to need a little bit of a relief. Yep, but they're doing exactly what you're not supposed to do. Turn around. Don't drown. That's part of the problem. But again, those down power lines, if that happens, you don't want to be toasted. Xavier, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.